Creating a great looking stream shouldn't require a high-end gaming PC or capture card. With Flightstream's mixer integration, you can do all the things that pro streamers do to increase audience engagement like add text, branded overlays, and alerts. Lightstream works with any FTL-enabled stream to Mixer and is ideal for Xbox streamers who want to add more polish to their stream. The beauty of this integration is that you can go as simple or as complex as you want, and once it's all set up, you don't need to open Lightstream for it to work. Ready to begin? Mixer partners and pros will have access to the Lightstream integration beta. To start, head over to Mixer.com and turn on the integration in the Manage Channel section of your account. Make sure to click save after flipping a switch or it won't take effect. When the integration is turned on, anything broadcast through the Mixer channel will route through Lightstream. From there, enter Lightstream Studio and authorize your Mixer account. Now, let's hop into Lightstream. If you're familiar with Lightstream already, then it's worth noting that your Mixer project is special and behaves a bit different than our standard studio projects. It automatically starts whenever it receives your Mixer feed. So there's no manual start-stop button, it only streams to Mixer, and there's no early access layer types from Lightstream Labs. If you're not familiar with Lightstream, then let's do a quick rundown on the dashboard. This here is the canvas, which is a preview of what you're sending out to your stream. By default, we've added your Mixer feed, which will be whatever you're streaming to your Mixer channel from your Xbox or computer. The top bar will tell you if your integration is enabled, as well as if you're live or offline. The left panel contains all your layers. If you're familiar with Photoshop, then you'll understand the layer system pretty quickly. The uppermost layer is above everything else, while the lowest layer is on the bottom. As you can see, the text disappears once I've placed it below the Mixer feed, since that's technically behind your gameplay now. Most of the other media options are self-explanatory. Images, image slideshows, for example, adding a rotating list of sponsors, camera, microphone, and then there are third-party integrations. Third-party integrations allow you to add dynamic alerts on your stream that are triggered when someone follows, subscribes, and more. Moving on, the lower left portion here contains all of your audio. If you were to place a microphone or something from your media layers, it would appear here. Down on the bottom, you have all of your different scenes. You can create a beer at back screen, a starting soon screen, and so forth. Just click a scene to change it on your broadcast. If you expand this right panel here, you'll find a live preview of what's being sent to your channel, as well as your mixer chat. Last but certainly not least, got a question? Need help? Head on over to our live chat support and hit us up. Our average response time is around 5 to 10 minutes. All right, let's fire up the Xbox and create a quick scene so you can see how easy this is. Now that my gameplay is coming through, let me add an image and some text. As you can see, adding assets or any polish to a stream is very simple. Once you've added all your assets, now you're ready to stream. We look forward to seeing what you can create with our Mixer integration. As always, if you have any questions, then please hit us up in the live chat or drop them below.